Hey there, Dango Stu here. Today's video is about doing the last of the welding, getting ready to paint, and is proudly sponsored by MarineEngine.com. Feels like a very good week this week. Finally got everything ready to paint, so I'll take you back to the start of the week and show you what was involved. I gave the new railing a light polish up. I've also welded on some stainless uh, chain to attach our awning to. Over here, I put a couple of coats of rust converter onto the steel. This steel was previously sandblasted, so it has a profile on it. Just need to get the surface rust treated, turn into the tannates. I've been needle gunning the back wall here in between previous jobs. When I took the door frame off here, there was a bit of rust behind the door frame where the timber was. Put some new steel in there today. But for now, it's a nice wake up job. I'm gonna continue needle gutting the rest of the paint off the wheelhouse. Fun way to start the day, that is. The needle gunning went on and on. Doing all the needle gunning overhead was a nightmare, but it finally got finished. Nice to know that all that old paint is gone, ready for the new paint now. There was also some old non-slip tape on the deck which the needle gun wouldn't chip off so the best technique seemed to be just to burn it off and then get under it with a scraper. The amount of old paint that got taken off was quite staggering in the end, filled so many vacuum cleaners full of the stuff. Now I'm making some brackets to hold these yellow toolboxes onto the bulwarks. This is the upright. The plan is it's going to go on the deck, at the slope of the deck, weld against the bulwark so it'll reinforce it all. Here I've cut like this, cut at the back so I can fold this down and make a cap for it. Then an arm's going to come up. I'll put it together and I'll show you how it works. Okay, here is the prototype. The idea is, goes under, hooks on there, sits down so it's secure, but if I want, I can simply lift the box up, slide it off, and take it to a job site if needed. Could put some latches here to attach them at sea. Personally, I don't think we're gonna need to, but if it turns out we do, pretty easy to add. Realised a flaw in my design, which is I need water to be able to pass between the deck and the bowl. So I've cut these at 45. Now I'm just going to end cap those as well. And then we'll blast them so we can uh, put them in ready to paint. These are the little discs off the front where the old pulley was for the anchor. These are now cut off because we've got the sav winch bow roller installed. But I figure, given they're stainless and they're, you know, a bit medallion shape, they might be nice little souvenirs. So I'm going to sandblast them and tig them and make little souvenirs for people out of them. This was the bracket for the uh, fire extinguisher. Obviously, it's just mild steel with some sort of coating that's rapidly failing. I would take this bracket off to blast it, but when they manufacture it, they actually put tack welds onto the machine screws holding it together. Never mind, it'll be all right. It's only a fire extinguisher holder. And these are our brackets. Okay, let's get a couple of measurements off these boxes. So, the furthest the outsides can be apart, let's call it 770. Nice, but what they do have to have is their surfaces 
in line with each other, which they appear to be. So, happy days. This is a ladder I'm going to make. Uh, had this bent in town at the uh, exhaust place, and this is going to be a ladder that goes from the ballwalk up to the roof of the wheelhouse, so I can get up there more easily, more particularly down, which is harder. This is the area roughly where it's going to get cut to go on the ballwalk. So 30 centimeters up from there is where I'm putting my first rung. I'm just going to make sure it's perpendicular here. Yes, the deck slopes, but so does this part. What I think I'll do is I'll do the same thing on this side and then we can lay them both over and join them but I'll do this 60 centimeters up instead of 30. for today test fit tweak cut do everything to this tomorrow okay I'm going to use a rope to bring the ladder until the rungs are level we also want it further this way let me just double check Alright, we need to cut a couple of inches off here to get us closer to the ballpark. Once we've done that, we can fine tune. It's a little bit hard to fine tune while it's skidding around. Let's just get it close and then put it back up. It's already naturally hanging much more level, which is good. Okay. Probably overcooked the angle slightly. Never mind. I'm happy for it to straddle this cleat because it's getting welded on the inside here. All we need to do now is mark it so we can cut the bottoms off here. And uh, consider putting one more rung in here. It's sort of going to be awkward though because you've got the, the gutter or the edge of the wheelhouse roof. I do have four rungs, it's almost tempting to cut those rungs off, they're not fully welded out yet. Now we've got it tweaked like this, we could just evenly space the four rungs we have, leaving a gap at the top and a gap at the bottom. Maybe that's the go. Alright, let's trim the bases off first. Okay, marking worked out well. So you can see here it leans in, the idea is that if you're up against a wharf, or a pile, the rubbing strips out here, out from the top of the ball walk, and then the ladder itself slopes in. I managed to take the welding gloves off, put this up and grab it right road welded. Nice burn on two fingers and my hand. Ay ay ay, some days. In the end I decided to bite the bullet and cut the existing rungs off and just put all four in evenly spaced. Okay, so we call it 1200 millimetres, top to bottom. Then we want to divide that by five spaces for four rungs. So, 1220-240 millimetres. Sound right? 12 by 10 is 120, by 5 is 240, yep. Alright, let's mark those out. I think what I'll do is put the missing one in and then just move them one at a time so it holds its shape. Sounds like the best plan. Oh, the best plan is not to burn my hand again. Oh. The cool of aerosol cans really helps. 
I've now shuffled all my rungs to give me even spacing from the top of the bulwark to the top lip of the wheelhouse roof. So there's even steps, one, two, three, four, then onto the roof. Clean up all the old welds where the rungs were. It's gonna be much easier to polish the stainless now than when I install it. So polish it first, then we'll weld it in. To get the welds off, I'm using a 60 grit flap disc, but to polish it up, we are using a medium poly flap disc, which looks like this. These are hideously expensive, like 20 bucks each, but they give you that smooth finish. Damien from Brewpeg came over and kindly offered to give me a hand getting this installed. It was really nice to have a set of extra hands, somebody who could weld the bottom while I welded the top. So thank you, Damien. Good, yeah. Okay. Do you want me to take it? Yeah, that'd be great if you could. Yep. All set to go. The final step was a single rung on the bulwark to help you get up onto the bottom of the ladder. Down a little bit on your end. I'll go that way and get onto the... Yep, oh uh, yep, yep. Yep, I'll get there. All right, yep. So this is our step up onto the ladder. So you can kind of grab here, watch your noggin. Ladder. It's good, it doesn't get in your way at all coming through. Nah, no, it's nice. Nice, okay. yeah. Very happy with that. When we lose a thousand degrees off that, you can test it. Yeah, exactly. The final welding job was to install a small cal vent to send some fresh air down to the cabin. Devil a slight edge, it might stop it catching. Yeah, right. One end was uh, rounded and the other two. Oh, it's close. You don't have a mallet, rubber mallet or something, do you? Uh, yeah, I do, I do. I think it's on. Can you do a fingerometer measurement? Yeah, definitely. I should have marked it, but I think it's... I think now it's there, it's a case of just tapping it down. At least now we can kind of finesse it to be straight at least. I'm putting this cal vent in to bring some air to the cabin below. So let's drill a 63 millimeter hole here, weld it in. There's the funnel. No door aid box to separate water yet. May add something that comes across, put the funnel on top. This actually has a mounting flange to go on a surface. So the door aid box could have air coming at the front, air down, but it'll do for now. I can always put a cover over it, spin it backwards. It's got a little locking screw like that. So plenty of options for keeping the water out. It's gonna be nice to have a little bit of direct fresh air down below. It's under the awning, so it won't get rain down it at least. Could get a bit of water at sea, but I would just flip it around to face backward at sea, so you're not scooping seawater in. So, this whole section's much more as I envisioned a long time ago. It's nice to see it all coming together. Very nice. Well, I think we're finally there. I have my toolbox brackets welded on. Got one here, because it's nice and out of the way. Uh, we wanted one here because it's a really good seat 
for the table that's here. So that's why we chose those two spots. The fridge is moving from here to here to be closer to the table too. So you can sort of be here and get food and cook and all that kind of stuff. Barrel's going back where it was. But as far as I can see, we are now ready to start uh, taping up the stainless. I'm gonna paint, even though this is now stainless, I'm gonna paint over this and I'm gonna put masking tape around leave all this polished stainless, but paint below here. Ladders in. Worked well last night, bit of breeze, which was nice. Although it's actually quite funny. It acts like a little bit of a, uh, you know, ear magnophone type thing. You hear lots of noises that are coming ahead. Not so cool when it's a boat yard, but it'll be quite nice when it's waves, etc. Haven't sanded this side yet because I need to move the scaffolding, but I'll paint that side first, move the scaffolding, sand and paint as we go around, but we're finally there. I'm painting up against this rubber, I have a 30 meter roll of new seals on the way, so we're going to paint up against it, and then when that roll arrives, all the windows are coming out and new rubber's going in. I'm not going to take them out to paint because dust is going to go right through the cabin, so that will do. There's good steel underneath these, except for that one bit I fixed, which is already done. Well, I'm going to uh, go have a coffee and start doing some homework on these paints. And next video, you'll see this looking very different, I hope. Finally. I know a lot of people have wanted to see it painted for a long time, but uh, I didn't want to jump the gun because all this work needed to be done to paint. There was no point throwing paint onto rust. So I feel really good about having done this work and painting it now in a way that'll last 10, 15 years. So we're getting there. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.